Hello friends, this is Dr. Arbi Kushwa, Associate Professor in the Division of Veterinary Clinical Complex at APSC and AH, Squash, Shimo, Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, so kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for subscribe. Today we have a case of uh, intestinal obstruction due to the intussusception. So we have suspected this case for the intussusception. So uh, this case presented with the history of uh, not passing feces from the last 6 days and the Kolki sign 6 days back. So normally uh, the suggestion of feces and Kolki sign they are coincide. Uh, so uh, since we are having a lot of cases of intussusception in this particular area, so any case uh, with the history of Kolki sign and not passing feces is presented to the clinic, so we suspected for the intussusception. So for the diagnosis of intussusception, one is the history of Kolki sign, then not passing feces, and then we go for the parietal examination. So in parietal examination, normally rectum is empty. So I can feel here, so rectum is empty and this animal is not pregnant and uh, the mass is just in cranial to the pelvic rib just beneath and cranial to the pelvic rib this is quiet structure so normally in books we read that uh, into subsection mass is sausage shape but sausage shape in case of the canine but in case of the bovine whenever we palpate the intestine so normally intestine is formed in a quiet structure like if somebody is palpating the inclined horn of the one month pregnancy. So this is a coiled structure. So this is a confirmed case of intussusception. And if you remove the, your hand, so you will find the tarry colored feces. The feces is like this mucus. So this is also clear cut indication that definitely uh, this animal is having the intestinal obstruction. And intestinal obstruction here it is mostly because of intussusception. So we uh, we could say that this animal is having the intussusception. So we have prepared to this right paralumbar fossa area for the Laparotomy and then we retrieve the disinfection mask and then we dissect the affected portion and then do the end to end anastomosis.